Today it's all about reverse seared prime rib on the big green egg. Let's fire up the grill and let's get cooking. All right, we went ahead and stirred all the ash in here, got that down into the fire pit, the ash pit, so to speak. Uh, we went ahead and topped this off with a little bit of lump charcoal, right? And now we're gonna do what I always say. We're gonna flatten this out, make it nice and level, and then you guys, we're gonna make a little pit in the middle because that's where we're gonna start the fire today, right there in the middle. We've got the egg igniter here. We're gonna go ahead like we always do. Uh, start a little fire in the middle. I like those embers to kind of glow a little bit. And then once we've established a little bit of a fire, a little bit of a nice little ember pile, time to turn the fan on and get this thing moving. Now that we've got the big green egg started, this top is gonna be wide open because we want it to grow to 200 degrees. So you can see we're nice and cold right now. We wanna get it right to 200 because that's when we're gonna add the convector. So top is wide open and then check this out. The bottom is wide open as well. We'll go ahead and close the screen. We'll leave the bottom open. Now we're gonna let this guy climb to 200 degrees. We just hit that 200 degrees and you can see we've got the bottom expander with the convector already loaded in it and a little drip tray as well. So now we'll go ahead and add that to the grill. We'll go ahead and shut this and then we're gonna adjust the top right about there for now. And then we'll head down to the bottom here, show you how we get that adjusted right about there. We're gonna hold this now right at 250 degrees. All right, before we add that prime rib, we're gonna add a couple chunks of big green egg hickory because we definitely wanna add a little bit of flavor. And I'm gonna put those on the outside so they don't catch on fire, but smolder. We have our prime prime rib today, which is gonna be absolutely exceptional. I'll tell you what, let me give you a little look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful marbling. Now we took it out of the package. We've got it ready to go. Here's gonna be our seasoning. We're gonna use a rub-a-dub blend and a prime rib rub-a-dub blend. So go ahead and get that all mixed. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of oil as our binder. So we'll go ahead put that on there. We'll get that all rubbed on the top, the sides, the back, the bottom, and then we'll go through here and season this. Now, because this is prime rib and it's a larger cut, I go a little bit heavier on seasoning and don't be afraid to pack that on either. All right. And we'll go ahead and get this all seasoned top, sides, bottom, back, everything. And then we're going to let this sit now at room temp here for about 15 minutes or so while the big green egg reaches that 250 degrees. We're hovering right at 250. We'll go ahead and give that a burp, open that carefully and look at that. We are set. So we'll go ahead and add our prime rib in there now, right? And what we're going to do is close it. We're going to keep it at 250 degrees. And now we are basically going to start the reverse sear process. So we're going to go low and slow on this. We'll come back and check on this internal temperature here with our big green egg thermometer. We'll come back in about 30 minutes and do our first temperature check. This is what happens if you don't adjust that top. Look at that, we crept up a little bit. No big you guys, come up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this a little bit more just to get it right into 250. So now let's go ahead and give this a burp. We're gonna open it slowly. Oh, look at that beauty, right? So we'll add the BG thermometer in there. Look at that, we're hovering right about 49 degrees. This is where we're at after 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and close the dome. We'll come back and check in another 30 minutes, but oh man, that looks good. All right, here we are after one hour. Let's give the egg a burp and check that out. See where we're sitting. All right, right about 87 degrees. So I'm gonna come back now and keep checking on this about every half hour, but our internal temp, what we're going for is 115 degrees. We'll see you back here when this hits 115 degrees, and then it is time to finish the second part of the reverse sear. Well, here we are right after that one and a half hour time frame it took us to get to 115 degrees. We'll go ahead and take this off now, get the grill adjusted and get ready for that 550 degree sear. We went ahead and took the convector off and now we're adding the grill grate back on. We'll close the dome. We're gonna head up top now and adjust that because uh, we needed about three quarters open to start driving that temperature. We'll head down below and open the bottom as well. Now we're gonna dial it in to that 550 degrees. We'll go ahead and burp the big green egg, get it opened up. We are set right at that 550 degrees. Now, because I'm on my extra large egg, we're gonna go ahead and set this prime rib kind of towards the front, maybe a little bit indirect if you will, but the goal is to get a beautiful sear and that final crust all over this entire prime rib. So we'll get it closed, let it go. We'll come back in when we are all done. Prime rib is done. You know what goes great with prime rib? Grilled shrimp. And that video is coming up next.